Uh, when I first read the script, I um, it took me three days because I kept going back to it because it was so wild and so detailed and so crazy that I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Um, I play Sydney Palmer, um, uh, virtuoso musician. I'm saying that right, virtuoso. Um, <laughs> when I first read the script, again, um, it took me a while just to digest all of the color that was in these uh, these deeply written characters and all of the set pieces that I was reading. I, I was really curious about how it was going to be adapted to screen, but I was really excited at the prospect of working with all of these great artists that I admire. I loved working with Damien because he was so just kind and receptive and we were able to collaborate on all aspects when it comes to creating the character, uh, communicating our ideas and just, it was all around an amazing experience. Working with Damien was really refreshing to me just because of his his uh, his openness to collaborating, uh, the safe space that he was creating for all of his artists on set to be able to perform and perform well and, and for extended periods of time. I think it was really refreshing that everybody that was involved in this project was really, really excited about putting together a really, really full and, um, and complex story. And I think Damien just did everything that he could so that we were well informed and well prepared to play these parts uh, fully and sincerely. The first time that Damien and I spoke about Sydney, we spent a couple hours on the phone just talking about jazz music and what we enjoyed about the genre specifically. Um, I wasn't really familiar with this time as far as uh, the early pioneers, um, the musicians that became film stars um, and being musicians of color, other than on the surface listening to the music, enjoying the music, I wasn't really familiar with a lot of the, the actual people. Uh, so that was really fun to get to research the kind of experiences that they were going through that were quite difficult, uh, being uh, the first of their kind and that they were artists of color that were in the middle of this transition in, in Hollywood where silence were transitioning into, into sound and where that put a lot of musicians in front of the camera. It was really interesting to get to talk about all of that with Damien. Um, my experience was just, you know, um, I read her biography. I uh, watched a bunch of anime Wong films. Um, we were able to discuss, Damien and I, um, on a three-day master intensive class is what I call it to this day about, um, you know, her history, the scenes that inspired Damien in writing this film and the scenes that uh, Lady Faye was in. Um, just making sure that we told her story gracefully, uh, accurately, with integrity, and in a way that really conveys the struggles and um, bring empathy from the audience. I think it was really, it was really something to see everyone working at such a high level. When it's starting from you know, the costume design, the set design, props, the background artists, uh, the, the actors that if they were there for two days, if they were there for three weeks, I mean, everybody was just really dedicated to the work that we were doing and telling the story. And I think that comes from everyone believing the vision that Damien had with telling the story about Hollywood. And um, and it was just really a sight to see that everyone was was committed to working hard and, and doing their very best work. That was, that was something to be, uh, to be marveled, for sure. I hope that uh, audiences can be inspired after seeing Babylon to go back to the cinemas. I think that we kind of lost um, that motivation to go to mm. the, the movie theaters these days because of the convenience of you know streaming services, which I have nothing against, but I, I still think it's nothing can compare to a cinematic experience. Mm. I hope that they take away just an overall appreciation of film, and I mean the history of film, where it's come from, and maybe some newfound enthusiasm of where it could go, but also more specifically paying attention and respecting the classics because these pioneers, these people that we're representing, they were all trailblazers of, of paving the way for of us. us. You know, we wouldn't be here mm -hmm. on screen if it weren't for characters or people based, you know, from these characters. Mm -hmm.